Konnichi, what's up? <laughs> Somebody comment. Um, T Mo san. Konnichi, what's up? Nice. Nice, nice. So, Genki desu ka? How's going? How's going? Mina san, Genki desu ka? Nani yatte masu ka? What do you do? What are you doing? Where are you listening from? Do desu ka? Mina san, kikoe masu ka? Okay. You li- Okay. Genki. So, Modus Tolen san. Trolen san. Genki. Yo katta desu. Genki de yo katta desu. So, so today actually,、um, it's the middle of July. Um, are you studying Japanese? Nihongo benkyo ste masu ka? Or, Nihon jin to atte masu ka? Are you meeting Japanese people? You know, it's better you meet me people than just to study by yourself and then it's kind of boring to study. Study is always boring. And I always say just don't study and just practice with the people and meeting people and talk to the people. But maybe somebody is not living in Japan, you cannot meet every day, but still online. You can meet people. Hey, here. You can meet. Here with the people online, this is which is really, really easy to meet somebody. So, I'm online. I'm Genki. Hi, you got this. So,、uh, today actually, we can learn something more about like meeting people with, with Japanese and what we can talk about,、uh, what phrases you can actually say. And then, step by step, we can learn some phrases. So, Nikolaus kun, konbanwa, konbanwa. Konbawa, it's at, in Japan, it's at night. Konbawa. In Greece, I'm currently living in Greece. So,、uh, konnichiwa. Good afternoon. Yeah. So, mina san, doko ni sun deru n e s h o ne? Everyone, where are you living?、Uh, I'm currently living in Greece. Uh, ima, uh, Girisha ni sun de mas. Uh, nana nen gura i sun de mas. Uh, seven years I'm living in Greece. And,、uh, 30年間日本に住んでました。I was living in Japan for 30 years. And just the beginning of life in Europe, 7 years. 7年ぐらいね、今、ヨーロッパに住んでまして。30年日本に住んでました。はい。皆さん、どこに住んでるんでしょう、uh, ?Where are you living,、uh, everyone? So,、uh, any question? Are you. Learning Japanese, or are you thinking to learn Japanese, or you just watching anime, or you already have Japanese friends? And what is that? Why you are you interested in learning Japanese? Why are you interested in learning Japanese? That's always I ask the people. So please write down、uh, your、um, opinion why you're、uh, learning Japanese. Japanese. This is actually really important. Why are you learning Japanese? Oh, Modo san. I'm s t e r d a m in Sundemas. Is ne. I'm s t e r d a m Jugatni k u y o t e d e s I'm planning to visit Amsterdam in October. Jugatni i k o t o m o t e m a s I'm planning to visit in October. Nicolas Kun Girisha no Kreta Toni Sundemas. Kreta Toni. Boku mo sundemas. This is it. It's I also living. Girisha no kreta to mo. If you put it kreta to mo, it's a kreta, a kreta island also. So it's a, a I also. So watashi mo girisha no kreta to ni sundemas. Nice. So don't be afraid to make a mistake. You can write down if you already know how to write down Japanese. Or if you don't know, you can actually write down alphabet. And you can talk to me. So,、uh, so this is my first question is why are you learning Japanese and、uh, what do you want to do with Japanese language? And so, me personally, I wanted to learn English because I really like meeting people from all over the world. Because in Japan,、uh, we don't have so much foreigner. 
So even if, if you can speak English, you cannot have any opportunity to use English in Japan. Which means if you live in Japan, you should be able to speak Japanese. It's going to be a really limit, limited life because not as actually most of Japanese people cannot speak English at all. So it's going to be a really limited life. That's why, you know, we do this communication and speaking training in our school. And I always say, better you can speak Japanese than you just know writing system because it's most of Japanese people can't speak English. So it's going to be quite really boring if you cannot speak Japanese in Japan because you need to just find the people, hey, can you speak English? Can you speak English? Can you speak English? And then not many people actually speak English. So it's really limited life. So, uh, Modus-kun, Nihon ni hikkostai. Hikkostai, hikkoste kudasai. Please move today. <laughs> please, if you actually really want to do it, please move today. And so, like you are living, I think, Amsterdam and move to Japan, easiest way is you actually make a Japanese girlfriend today and you get married. <laughs> That's easiest. You don't need to study. You just need to not need to talk to the people and then you just get married and then just get the visa. <laughs> That's actually the easiest way. What do you think? So that, that or maybe what is the next easiest way? Easiest is this one, right? Like you just meet a Japanese friend and then maybe your friend wants to work with you together and then, okay, let's work together, move. Or I want to get married with you and move. <laughs> That's easiest, easiest, right? And any other things, if you actually seriously do, uh, not, not like just meeting people or make girlfriend or something, if you don't go for that way, then it's going to be a quite long process, which is you need to find a job in Japan and then get the job visa. And also maybe, you know, you can be an English teacher in Japan. Uh, so, like, uh, the conversation topic right now is to move to Japan. How we can move to Japan. It's really interesting. Move. How can we move? How can we move to Japan today? So, you know, the, the life is only once. And then today I actually talked to my student. He's living in Germany. And he's actually became our student. And he's actually learning Japanese. Step by step from scratch. And he liked to work in Japan. And he said, like, uh, oh, I, I, I'm, afraid to, I'm afraid of losing job in Germany. Um, if I move to Japan, I'm going to lose the job in Germany and then come back later and maybe I I'm I'm, can't find a job. And I said, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Um, but also we need to care that is now you are young, right? How old are you guys? I mean, like a 25 years old or maybe 20 years old or 30 years old or 35 years old, like, like me, 36 years old or 40 years old, whatever. Now, today, you guys are the youngest day of your life today, right? And you want to work in Sony or like Nintendo or whatever, any Japanese company, and then uh, you are the youngest today and the youngest people have the the full of opportunity and the oldest people has always less opportunity you know because it's all the company or maybe everyone even making girlfriend maybe making a boyfriend no one won't have a 60 years old or 70 years old person to work together 17 years old 70 years old Today, if you're 25 years old, you are smart, you have a lot of future. And if you want to do it, do it now because you have so much choices because you're young. So if you just wait 10 years more, you become 35 years old or 45 years old or 55 years old. Always you have a little bit less opportunity than today. 
So that's why don't lose your, you know, time. Don't lose your time. Money, you can work so hard. You can gain again, again, again. But if you cannot go back to 10 years ago, if you really want to move to Japan today, and please move, please move. And the easiest way is you just make a girlfriend, Japanese girlfriend. Hey, like, I love you so much. And let's get married and just go. <laughs> That's easiest. But as I said, if you really want to find a job, yes, still, a lot of actually job interview is conducted online. I mean, you can just apply online. I mean, application, you apply for the job is free. You don't need any money. You actually just apply for the job today.、Uh, millions of companies in Japan. You can just stop applying. You can just check in the job、um, uh, opportunity. You know, what's the requirement? They say just maybe daily conversation in Japanese. You don't need a JLPT.、Uh, I just need your computer skill. For example, Rakuten,、uh, one of the most famous IT c o m p a n y in Japan, Rakuten is not asking you to speak Japanese. You just need a computer skill. And you just need an English skill. And if you have like amazing, excellent this computer skill, then, then you can enter, you can go to Japan, you can work in the Japanese company. But you need to search the job, right? And then you can actually apply. Or as I said, you can get married, you can actually have a girlfriend and then live together. That also, it's just not impossible. You know, if you really just think、uh, seriously, it's possible always. Always.、Um, so please,、uh, if you want to move, please do it today. All right. Because it's, as I said, it's the youngest people h a s always the biggest chance. So,、um, uh, some student,、uh, some people actually、uh, commented, thank you so much. I had a huge offer to get married and move to Hawaii or Guam. Nice. <laughs> a lot of Japanese people want to move to Hawaii. So that's actually a good offer. Really, really, really good offer. Yeah, because really, a lot of Japanese people love Hawaii.、Mm-hmm. So, um, Showa Gojuichinen Kara. So you are born in Showa Gojuichinen? Interesting. So, anyway, so now we just talk about this how we can move to Japan, and then always you can have this job interview, right? Because, if, as I said, it's applying for the job is totally easy, and then you don't need any money, you just apply today. But then now, now you, you have a lot of competition going on. Uh, a lot of people are applying for the job to move to Japan or work in the Japanese company or any reason. And then, what is actually your strengths? Because you know, computer skill, or you have a computer skill, or you have actually another like,、uh, experience and you actually apply for the job. And of course, if you can speak Japanese fluently, confidently, you can pass a job interview, right? Then, what is actually the useful phrases? And that actually you can、uh, pass the job interview. So, when you, when you actually meet people in the job interview or any, maybe even a stranger, how you can introduce your people, how, 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 can, how you can introduce yourself. So, I'm gonna write down something here. Let's see. So, this woman here. Can you see it? No, you cannot see it. This woman. How I can see. Okay. Oh, no.、Uh, I don't have access here. Oh, no. Okay, I cannot actually share the screen. I thought that I can share the screen today. Mm, 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 mm. Really? Okay. No. Okay, that's no problem. So then I can write it down here. So, how you can introduce your name? Always like, Watashi no, Namae wa, Terumi desu, or something. Many people say, right? 
but it's um, how you can actually introduce your name, something nicely for the job interview, for example. Like, 自己紹介お願いします Most of the actually time,、uh, job interviewers,、uh, like,、uh, please introduce yourself, any situation. 自己紹介お願いしますお自己 PR お願いします自己 PR お願いしますお願いしますそう、so, Have you ever heard this phrase? 自己 PR お願いします自己 PR お願いします means Please introduce yourself. Please introduce yourself. 自己 PR お願いします So, this is really, really common when you go for job interview or maybe, yeah, this is really job interview style. This is 自己 PR お願いします Please introduce yourself. So, when, when the people actually ask you, please introduce yourself. 自己 PR お願いします This is 自己 means self. PR is promotion, promotion, promotion. So self promotion, お願いします Please. That's actually the meaning. 自己 PR, お願いします Really common phrase in the job interview. Then now you have time to introduce yourself. So, well, how do you introduce yourself? Please try to imagine now you have a job interview in Japan. If you pass it, You can have millions of choices. If you can pass job interview, like a 10 job interview, you have choices, right? Amazing. You can change your life, actually, right? So, how do you introduce yourself? Please. How do you introduce yourself? Oh, Sergey Kun. Hello, guys. So, Sergey Kun, I actually I was talking about you, actually. Yeah, like. If somebody w a n t to move to Japan and they w a n t to do the job interview, and the first phrase is what? And then actually, you can,、uh, people are going to ask you, the job interviewer is going to say to you, I wrote in, in Japanese here, Jiko means self, PR means promotion, means please. So, how are you going to introduce yourself? At least you can prepare your self introduction, right? Because when you actually go to Japan, anyway, you're going to meet people, you can introduce yourself, you can pass job interview, or you can even make a Japanese girlfriend, or even you can make a Japanese friend. Anyway, introducing yourself is super, super, super important. I mean, if you cannot introduce yourself, I mean, how are you going to make friends? You know, how? And it's always people say, like, if you introduce yourself, then, Hajime maste, nice to meet you. Watashi no namae wa Terumi desu. My name is Terumi.、Uh, Nihon jin desu. I am Japanese. Yoroshiku o n e g a i s h i m a s Thank you so much. But th- this is not a Jiko PR, though. This is not self introduction. You just said the name and you just said, You know, what is nationality? How you gonna make friends with this? You know, how you can pass the job interview with this? I mean, this is too basic. So that's why you need to actually say something more, right? At least try, you know, okay, okay, if you're really seriously thinking to pass the job interview in Japan, try to speak about yourself at least five minutes. Five minutes. Unstoppably. This is just if you say, like, has your master, something, something, it's just maybe 20 seconds, or maybe even if you really speak fast, has your master, tell me that you're just going to ask us, Nihon Jin des, it's just like 10 seconds, right? Try to prepare yourself, at least you can introduce yourself perfectly, five minutes. If it's five, it's too long, then at least two minutes. Two minutes. This is your first step. This is your first step. To actually learn Japanese and also really in- useful job interview, making friends, and everything. So, then what are you gonna talk about? Two minutes, 
five minutes. What should I talk about? Hmm. I just say my nationality. I just actually say my name. I just say my age. But it doesn't go just two minutes. This is just ten seconds. How, what should I, what should you talk about? So, so now I'm going to tell you very important things. What actually Japanese people are curious about you as gaijin, as foreigner. So I'm going to actually pick up some topic and you can tr try to prepare. What should you talk about? So now I'm, I'm going to check、uh, what actually Japanese people are curious about. This is actually in Japan language factory. We have a textbook. And then we have this list that is what actually things you need to prepare、uh, in order to do some attractive self introduction.、Mm -hmm. Otherwise, oh, boring, or、oh, all、oh, foreigners say the same things. Oh, this is, I heard a million times, same, same, same. Yoroshiko ni gai shimasu, hajime masu, wa dasu no namae wa teru mi desu. And that over and over, it's everybody saying it's boring. Then what should you actually talk about? Right? Otherwise, it's just a,、um, everybody the same. Everybody same self introduction. That, that's really boring, right? So, first of all, you should talk about why do you want to come to Japan. That is so important. Even like make, even the making friends,、uh, you should talk about oh, why I'm here. You know, for example, you are from、uh, United States or you're from here, it's written、uh, Chris, Armenia. So, you're from Albania. Why you came to Japan? This is all Japanese people want to know. Want to know about you, why you came to Japan. So, why you came to Japan? Why did you come to Japan? So, how are you going to introduce yourself? Why you came to Japan? Why did you come to Japan? So, like, because I like Japan? Yeah. I, because I like Japan. How do you say it? Because I like Japan. Or because I like Japan, because I like Japanese culture,、uh, because I was、uh, fascinated about something, or because I, I already have some Japanese friends and then、uh, he was talking about always Japanese culture I'm so interested in, or any, anything, right? So, try to write down why you want to come to Japan. So, that's really important to share with a Japanese person. Let's say that what is the worst scenario is oh, because you know, Japan is a good money and you just, I just want to live there and that's, that's, I just came for money. Let's say. If you don't say something, if you don't say anything, maybe people think like this because I have met like this person too. I just came for money, nothing else. I don't like Japan. I don't like Japanese people. I don't like Japanese culture.、Uh, this is not my religion.、Uh, I don't care Japanese religion. I just came for money, let's say. You know, if you don't express yourself, maybe some people think like this. I don't know. So that's why you need to tell them that why you came to Japan because, you know, I like Japanese culture or because I. I, what, I love Japan. Oh, yes, tea, more, some.、Uh, because I love Japan and for work.、Mm -hmm. But it's why you love Japan then. So that's also nice, right? Because、um, uh, many, many, many just, just easy to say because I like Japan.、Uh, just a lot of people say just like this way I like Japan because I like Japan. It's, it's better you say that more detail. That it's you can show your knowledge, right? Because if you just say, I, because I like Japan, then it's maybe even the person who doesn't know about Japan, you can say.、Uh, everybody can say, it because I like Japan. So, why you like Japan? What kind of things you like Japan? Then you can show your knowledge, and then people are g o n n a take you more serious, right? So, tell them. Tell Japanese people that it's why you like Japan, also. Why you like about Japan.、Hmm? So, the next actual communication, you have to definitely tell them why you like about Japan. 
because I like martial arts, because Japanese people culture, like how the people behave, thinking way, and respect for culture, anything. Then, oh, this guy know about Japan very well. Because if you tell the detail, people are going to listen to your story more, right? So try to tell them that it's what you like about Japan. Why? So try to figure out how to say these things in Japanese. For example, if I am a foreigner and then I want to just tell them how much I like about Japan, and let's say I'm going to say like this, for example, hmm. Nihono For example, you can say like this Nihono Japanese, Doktokuna Bunka, unique culture. Japanese is definitely unique, right? Uh, rest of the cu- country, like uh, Western culture, Europe, Europe, United States, uh, uh, um, South America. There's no comparison. Japanese culture is always very different. Then you can say just uh, I like Japanese culture. Yes, you can say like this, but also you can say Nihon no Doktoku no Bunka, which means the Japanese unique culture. You can also say like Japanese modern culture, like uh more um, Gendai Teki modern or traditional, uh Lekishi Teki. Mm. Any actor you can say more nice way not to describe more detail so nihon no doktoku na bunka ya doktoku na is unique bunka is culture and lekishi ni so lekishi is a history lekishi ni akogarete imashita akogarete imashita i admired eh akogarete imashita yeah I admired, so I really respect, I like, so that's why I wanted to come to Japan. Yeah, so like something is realistic, more explanation than just, ah, because I like Japan, uh, you know, I like your you guys' unique culture and your history and uh, other things you can more describe, right? Mm-hmm, Yeah. And that's also a nice explanation if you can do it. Uh, here, T Mo san. So, the many cultural aspects of here. So, uh, na, like, 文化的なこと technology, like, 技術 food, 食べ物 safety, 安全性 history, 歴史などなど Etc. Yeah, that's also you can say like this. That also is nice to say, actually explain、uh, why you really like Japan. You know, I'm telling you because it's a lot of Japanese people don't know why you guys are here. Why you are here? Because of money? Because I don't know、um, why you are here. And you actually explain, then, you know, wow, thank you so much, you know? It's like always I explain because I came to Greece, right? Me, my, currently, I'm living in Greece, and always people are going to ask me why you came to Japan, Greece, why you're living in Greece. Everyone, everyone. What about you? Everyone, all the Japanese people are, think about you like this way too. And then always I explain, not because I just say, ah, because I like Greece. I don't say like this way. Usually I say because I love the food, because I love nature. And it w- this was my first destination,、uh, international trip, as when I was a young, it was my first destination. It was fu- really huge impact. 
and that's why I, I, I really start liking uh, Europe and especially Greece is totally different and I like the nature and the food and everything. So I usually explain more detail and my experience. So that's why I try to explain why you like about Japan more detail. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's actually uh, people's going to ask you and Jiko PR So please introduce yourself. This is just a, a one of the in self introduction that you can actually explain why you like about Japan too, right? And then next is things.、Uh, what Japanese people are curious about. For example,、um, about the personality.、Uh, so, Japanese people are really care about your personality. For example, especially the job interview,、um, you know, they want to care about your personality. And、uh, for example, was a really unique question. I'm going to share with you that it's really, this is a really most common question in the job interview in Japan. So, uh, 仕事で仕事で間違った間違ってしまったとき間違ってしまったときどうしますか、mm. This is a very, really nice question. So, 仕事で間違ってしまったときどうしますか So, in the job interview, like this really tricky question,、uh, maybe、uh, they're gonna ask you. 仕事で at work 間違ってしまったとき If you make a mistake, when you made a mistake, どうしますか What do you do? So they just want to see your personality, right? Because Japanese people、uh, care about your personality so much. Japanese culture is they care about your personality than your skills, actually. Because most of Japanese companies think the skill is you just need the training. You know, if you're a really good person,、um, we just need to do the training to earn your skills. But if the personality is really bad, we cannot solve your personality, right? Because personality is a personality. And we cannot change your personality, right? That's why、uh, Japanese people、uh, care about your personality so much. In order to make friends, in order to work together with Japanese, whatever. The high priority is your personality. That's why. The communication is so important to get trusted or also, you know, to make friends or to, to work together, anything, anything. So, the point is how you can describe your personality, how you can show your personality during the communication. So, you can pass job interview, you can make friends, you can work everywhere. It's going to be everything, it's much easier then. That's why I'm, I'm telling you, Japanese people care about your personality. And then, like this tricky question, let's say, 仕事で間違ってしまったとき、どうしますか At work, if you make a mistake, what do you do? So please answer. Hey, everyone here, try to answer. Even if you cannot answer in English,、uh, in, in Japanese, you can answer in English. But it's,、uh, the best is, yes, you can answer in Japanese. But also, if not, no problem. I can help you too. So, 仕事で間違ってしまったときどうしますか、hmm. They want to see your personality. Yeah, exactly. So, Will,、uh, you translate it for me. So, exactly, this sentence is exactly like this mean. So,、uh, if you. Here. What do you do when you make a mistake or how do you handle problems? Exactly. So that's actually the Japanese people want to ask you maybe during the job interview. So, how are you going to answer? So, h a r a r a m b o s i s e polyomorphy. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So, how are you going to answer? What is the best answer? Hmm. What is the best answer? Try to think, everyone. Try to think. What do you think? Try to think. Thinking, thinking, thinking. 
try to think. I'm also thinking. What is the best answer? 仕事で間違ってしまったとき、どうしますか They want to see your personality. What kind of person? Hmm. So I'm gonna answer like this way. 仕事で間違ってしまったとき、どうしますか Definitely. So, first of all, I'm gonna apologize for my, my mistakes. That's 100%. In, especially Japanese culture, I don't know you guys.、Uh, in Japan, definitely apologize、uh, that you, you did. What you did is definitely 100% important. So, I'm gonna answer. まず間違いは謝ります。First of all, I'm gonna say I'm so sorry.、Mm-hmm. And then the second thing s I'm gonna answer like this way. そう、なるべく間違いを二度としないようになぜ間違ったのかを考えます。そう、なるべく。そう、as much as possible 間違いを二度としないように。as less as possible 間違いを二度としないように。間違いを make a mistake 二度としないように。I don't want to do it second time, so I don't want to do it、uh, over and over. まち、なぜ間違ったのかを考えます。First of all, I'm gonna start think, I'm gonna start thinking why I made a mistake. うん、なるべく間違いを二度としないようになぜ間違ったのかを考えます。In order to not make a mistake was,、uh, sec- uh, um, again,、uh, なぜ間違ったのかを考えます。I'm gonna think why I made a mistake. うん。Yeah, so question. 仕事で間違ってしまったときどうしますか If you make a mistake during the work, what are you gonna do? まず間違いは謝ります。First of all, I'm gonna say sorry. Second of all, I'm gonna, I don't wanna do it once again. Then I'm gonna think why I made a mistake. And then the third step is so this is my final answer. So, メモを取るなどして二度としないようにします。また先輩からアドバイスを聞きます。So, I'm gonna take a me- you know, note to not make a mistake again. 二度としないように。二度としないように is to not do it again. 二度としないように。メモを取るなどして。Take a note, etc. また先輩からアドバイスを聞きます。Really Japanese style, huh? And also, 先輩からアドバイスを聞きます。I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna ask the advice、uh, from 先輩 which is the higher skill people. I'm gonna ask the higher skill people to not make a mistake again, and I'm gonna receive some advice and also I'm gonna take a note. So, like this,、uh, actually, really common job interview in Japan,、uh, they're gonna actually ask like this tricky question to actually see. Uh, your personality.、Mm-hmm. Even, you know, maybe it's English. You know, the, your job interview will be English, but still they're going to ask you like these things and to see your personality.、Mm-hmm. So,、uh, if you answer like this, <laughs> you cannot pass the job interview. It's, it's, it's funny. 
。仕事で間違った時どうしますか反省しますが大失敗だったら社長の命令により<笑>、What is that 感じ海、海なんとかにも呼んで、切腹を図ります。<笑> You're gonna do a h a r a k i r i and yeah.、Uh, you cannot pass the job interview, it's gonna be、uh, just so funny. d o g i z a o s e s h a z a i s h i m a s So you're gonna do d o g i z a which is like you actually really head down on the ground.、Uh, it, it's funny, but yeah, you cannot pass the job interview. <laughs> okay, you don't need to do h a r a k i r i you know, seppuku, right?、Uh, anyway. That's actually what I said to you is something is the best answer. Maybe if you wanted, if you are actually already planning to do the job interview, you can just copy and also try to understand that what actually the Japanese culture thinks. So, uh, if you make a mistake, what are you going to do at work? First of all, I'm going to apologize. And second of all,、uh, なるべく間違いを二度としないように、なぜ間違ったのかを考えます。I'm gonna think why I made a mistake. I'm not gonna do it once a second time, and then I'm, I'm gonna think why I did it. And then the third step. メモを取るなどして、二度としないようにします。また、先輩からアドバイスを聞きます。Yeah, I'm gonna take a note, and I'm gonna receive some advice from 先輩 which is the higher scale people. Yeah, something like this. And this is a little bit tricky question. It's also difficult.、Mm-hmm. And then also,、mm, that's actually really you need to、uh, tell nicely. So, why you want to move to Japan? And also, why do you want to work with us or something? And this is actually a really common question, right? So, the next actually people,、uh, next things,、uh, maybe the Japanese company is going to ask you, Tose de nani o s t a i Chou sen s t a i desu ka? So, at our company, what do you want to do? And what you want to challenge? Hmm. That's interesting. Even like,、uh, not even the company in Japan. Why you want to move to Japan? What you want to try? What do you want to do? What do you want to try? You just going to travel? That's it? Or will you want to try? Maybe you want to learn martial arts or something. Anything. So, Tosha de nani o s t a i Chou sen s t a i desu ka? So, Tosha de means at our company, Tosha de. Nani o s t a i What do you want to do? Chou sen s t a i desu ka? Chou sen s t a i desu ka means what do you want to challenge? Chou sen s t a i desu ka? Mm-hmm. 当社で何をしたい何をしたい What do you want to do? 挑戦したいですか What do you want to challenge? So, how are you going to answer these questions? Even you can actually, instead of this question, you can think,、uh, why you want to move to Japan? What do you want to try?、Mm. 何を日本でしてみたいですか何を日本でしてみたいですか That's actually personal, personally I want to ask you. 日本で何をしたいですか Personally I want to ask you guys. 日本で何をしたいですか What do you want to do in Japan? What do you want to do in Japan? どうですか What do you think? 日本で何をしたいですかうん、I mean, because I, I am Japanese, I cannot answer these good things、uh, because I, I did it almost everything in Japan. So <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't have nothing to do in Japan. That's why I left Japan. <laughs> because I, I was living in Japan for 10, 30 years. Almost, I did almost everything. Almost, almost. So、uh, definitely, I cannot answer this question, but it's, you can actually answer. What do you want to do in Japan? What I did in Japan, first of all, I grew up in Japan. I went to elementary school in Japan. I went to junior high school in Japan. I went to high school in Japan. I didn't go to university, but I don't want to go to university. So, this is, I don't want to do it. So, I didn't go to university. And then later, I did it. 
I start working. I start working from 18. So from 18 years old to 22 years old, I did um, um, the office worker, the normal office worker uh, in Japan. Like it's called OL, 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 office lady. I did it from 18 years old to 22 years old. It was really fun. And then, oh, yeah, this is also, I, I really, it was really fun. Also, I learned what is a traditional Japanese culture because I was working in a very traditional Japanese culture, uh, co- company. So I, I really learned what is like, a uh, you know, the common Japanese company. Also, I learned. And then when I was 22, I said, I think it's, I should start changing my life. And I start moving to Europe, but it that was I was traveling. And I said, so this is time that was a, for the first time I, I came to Greece was when I was 22. I just choose Greece, whatever, like something it's something it's not commonplace from Japan. I just pick up Greece just randomly, randomly. And I was wow, this is amazing. The world is huge totally different from Japan. Nothing is the same. And I felt, wow, this is amazing. I should see more world. And then I go back to Japan, this time when I was 22. And then, okay, I, I'm done with this uh, countryside life in Japan. So I quit my, my job. It was a great company. Japanese traditional company was great. I Still, I really appreciated how you know, my senpai and my shacho, like the comp- president of company or the, you know, older people in the company helped me so much and I learned so much things in the, during the office worker time period. And then I really appreciate it. But also this is not my life. I should experience uh, everything. So I left my country uh, side life which is uh, I was living in Niigata Prefecture in Japan. So I moved to Tokyo when I was 22. And I said, I'm going to start my own business. Suddenly, you know, 22 years old, I was working in the company. I moved to Tokyo. I had only maybe 3,000 euro. And then I spent almost everything when I rented the house in Tokyo because it's the, it was really expensive, right? So... I become nothing, no money, no job in Tokyo. But my goal was, yes, I'm going to start the business. Yes. So that was uh, when I was 22. But I don't know what to do with this because uh, anyway, I don't have money. And uh, I don't know what, 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 how can I start the business? So first of all, like, what, what, what do I want to do? What kind of shop or what kind of business? I didn't decide anything. And, of course, you see, I don't have money. I need to work anyway. Um, so that's why I start working like almost four jobs per day that time in Tokyo. And first of all, like I did like a bento delivery, like a, a, a girl I became. It's like a lunchbox delivery. I did it. And that was like a morning. I start from 8 a.m. And then like finished 3 p.m., like lunchtime. And after that, I went to a restaurant. So because I don't have money, I spend everything in Tokyo. And then when I rent a house, I don't have money. So I started working from 4 p.m. until until uh, 4 p.m. until like 10 p.m. 10 p.m. I did the restaurant in the Isetan Shinjuku. So Isetan Shinjuku is one of the most expensive like a department store. So I start working in that department store restaurant. That was until 10 p.m., right? But still my and, and my day is not ending. After 10 p.m., I went to Shinjuku Kabukicho. Kabukicho is one of the uh, 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 most famous place in the whole Japan. It has a lot of you know, hostess club or uh, like a girls bar or even like a boys bar or even uh, I cannot say a lot of things that it's a lot of things that are going on there. 
and it's this is a、uh, uh, kabuki cho in Shinjuku. So after 10 p.m. till until 2 a.m., it's this is amazing because kabuki cho is 40 euro per hour. 40 euro per hour. So you can actually really save a lot of money. 40 euro, you just actually work from 10 p.m. till 2 p.m. It's just a four hours. It's, I can get 160 euro per night. Kabuki cho wa abunai. If you don't know Kabuki cho, then it's dangerous. If you know Kabuki cho, then it's not dangerous at all. It's one of the safest uh, uh, place. In the whole world, if you really know Kabuki Cho. If you don't know, yes, are you gonna just spend the money for nothing? So, anyway, so this time is I was saving so much money, and because it's at night work, yes, I work so hard, and also from morning, I did Obento delivery, and after that, it's a restaurant, and I, after that, it's I did a girls' bar, so girls' bar 40 euro per. Per, per hour, it was, I was, I think, earning around 200 or 250 euro per day. And I work hard, work hard. I slept only four hours per day. <laughs> That was 22 years old to maybe 25 or 24 years old, which is two years. Never forget in my life, I only slept four hours for two years. <laughs> Never, never, never forget in my life. That's I'm telling you. If you are young, you can do a lot of things. Now I'm 36 years old. I cannot do it for four hours nap for every single day for two years. Just I cannot do it because I'm a bit old. <laughs> right. So that was really, really lucky that I realized to change my life earlier. Imagine you actually realize that you want to change your life when you are 50 years old. When you are 50 years old, you just don't have energy to do it. <laughs> you want to just sleep and just sleep on Netflix and whatever. Right? So that's why、uh, when you are young, you should do it now because you have energy. So that's why, anyway, I go back to my this conversation. Anyway, this is so, anyway, this 22 years old to 24 years old. I work so like crazy. And even Saturday, Sunday, I had another game, different like a restaurant as a cooker. So, literally 365 days for four hours nap every single day, I did it. I never forget in my life. <laughs> So I worked so hard, I saved money, right? It was around,、um, but still like around 6,000 euro. You know, it's not amazing money to start a business. But, you know, when I was 24 years old, okay, now I have 60,000 euro. Okay, what, what I can do? And I start doing the cooking, cooking school. Because I loved cooking and because I, I had some health issue, and、uh, I learned a lot of actually the health, how can I say, the, the like、uh, yin yang, yin yang, if you know the yin yang,、uh, like yin yang, like a,、uh, Chinese, Japanese, like food habits, like really traditional food habits. I actually read a, a lot of actual b o o k and actually I combine. My experience, and I actually said, like, healthy cooking, like a, a skincare school, actually, because I'm quite specialized for this skincare things and skincare food. I actually developed, and then I started doing the business just at my home. You know, I cannot rent the place to actually have the company office or whatever because I just don't didn't have money. And okay, let's start blog. So, you can do actually a lot of things with blog, with social media. So, I just created the one blog, right? And like now it's like maybe blog is, or maybe it's just old style. Maybe it's now it's called website, or maybe, you know, social media like platform. You actually made it. 
And I actually said, um, you know, hey guys, I w- I'm doing the cooking class. And if you have like this skincare problem, da, 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 and uh, you can do, you can join my cooking school. And that, that was my first business. Anyway, and then, you know, start having a lot of, a lot of, a lot of students. And we're going to move this actually things. Actually, one like um, the, the book company that is, can publish the book. This actually, the producer came to my cooking school one day and he said this. Can you introduce yourself? Can you explain your whole background and what do you want to do in the future and everything? And I, oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm going to introduce. Yeah, I want to do this, 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 this in the future. And also my background, yes, I can grow up in the countryside. And in the beginning, yes, I didn't have cooking school. And I did, did, did. And I said, and in my future, yes, I want to actually really do these things. And I, I want to be a more international person. I want to learn languages. And I want to expand a lot of things in the world. And this, wow, this is, you are really interesting. Yes. Let's publish the book together. That was happened in 2013 when I was uh, 27 or 20, 20, yeah, 26 years old, right? I actually published a book because I did really excellent this Jiko PR self promotion. So I'm telling you in the end, if you can do introduc- introducing yourself amazingly, I'm telling you, it's not just a husband, master, nice to meet you, my name is this, and that's it. You know, no book company or no actual even company gonna feel like, oh, yes, I wanna work with you. Yeah, that's you're excellent, you're amazing. You know, cannot tell you because you just say the name or just so you say the nationality, that's it. So if you actually have this amazing self introduction,、um, people actually realize who you are. That's actually the timing I published the book, 2013. And then、uh, the, uh, my business really g r o w this time. And then, yes, before becoming 30, let's go to the world. And then I left Japan was 2015. And now I'm here. I actually didn't do this cooking school anymore in Europe. But in the future, yes, maybe I want to do it again.、Uh, right now, because, you know, so much. These seven years, I developed my language skill, which is I could speak only Japanese, Japanese seven years ago to now I can speak English and I can speak basic Greek and I'm start learning German last year. And then, oh, I think language learning is also interesting. And I started this Japan language factory seven years ago. So that was a really quick story. But, you know, what do you want to do in Japan is really. Everything about, right? Why you are learning Japanese? For what purpose? If you don't have any purpose, I mean, it's useless, really useless. But if you have a purpose, superpower, superpower, you can actually meet Japanese people. As I said, you can work together, you can make friends,、uh, you, can meet, you can make a big team, like Terumi team or your team, like.、Um, z e p h y u s z e p h y u s team, including 10 Japanese people, we can work together or we can do something, cool things. So that's actually the, the communication skills, right?、Mm-hmm. So that's、uh, all about Nihon de Nani o s t a i desu ka. Let's actually see you guys, your comment. So, thank you so much. A lot of actually comments. And then, Zeus, Terumi Sensei no ichi nichi wa isogashi yo desu. <laughs> It looks like Terumi is one day is busy.、Uh, yeah, busy is nice, right? It's, the, it's better.、Uh, I don't have nothing to do. Boring. I'm just getting old and old and old. Nothing changed. You know, I don't, I hate, I hate just getting old. You know, I just hate, hate to getting old for nothing. You know, it's, I just want to see some growth. You know, oh, I'm getting better or、oh, getting better. I can learn many languages more and more and more. Like something, it's, I just want to see some difference and not just the getting old and like, oh, oh, this, uh, like, you know, you're just getting old for nothing. So that, that's, that's better, better to be busy and something better. 
And that's hardcore. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm a really super hardcore for sure. And Sergey, wow, interesting story telling me. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I told you, like,、uh, you are young, so you should do right now a lot of things, and、um, you can get a lot of chance now、um, better than just you get old and then,、uh, oh, why I didn't do last year? Oh, why I didn't do 10 years ago? I was so young.、Uh, you know, we don't want to regret, right? Mm hmm. So, the、uh, fuse, so t h それ,それあと伊勢神宮行きたいです。ああ。So you want to go to 伊勢神宮 ?Yeah, like one of the biggest、uh, Japanese shrine. That's also nice.、Uh -huh. And then, Sakura Japan, 日本でもう一回海鮮丼食べたいです。<laughs> I want to eat、uh, 海鮮丼 again. Nice. 富士山に、そう。軍軍曹だ、トラベル忍者さん。そう、富士山に登りましたか ?I actually didn't go on the、oh, okay, top of the Mount Fuji. I didn't go. <laughs> But also, me,、uh, a little bit interested in to do it. A little bit. A little bit interested in to do, to actually go to the, going to the top of the Mount, Mount Fuji. But I heard that it's,、uh, you know, you need to stay one night. And because you're gonna have less oxygen and you have to stay one night and go, right? So, like, it's gonna be a hardcore. You,、uh, you actually really need, it, I think, two days to, to go and come back. So, and then I, I, I personally, I don't like mountains so much. <laughs> a lot of, you know, mosquito and a lot of and things, and then it, it's and the cold and the warm and the hot and the cold. And again, you know, that's actually a mountain. The weather is always like really tricky. And usually I like more on the beach and the ha、huh, and the beer and the ha,、huh, you know, that's I, I like. But it's, but you know, life is only once. And then the Mount Fuji is my, you know, hometown. I mean, I was born in Yamanashi Prefecture, which is located this Mount Fuji. So maybe I should, you know, go to Mount Fuji until I die. I mean, it's better young.、Uh, so maybe I should go. That's, 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 thank you so much. That's a, thank you so much for giving me this, this idea. Yeah. So,、um, so interesting and ins inspiring story,、uh, Aris. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And then,、uh, Selge, you're right now. And I went, I went fast as possible to Japan. Yes, exactly. Just go now. Now, buy the ticket. Go now. <laughs> Something like that. Don't waste your time. And、uh, believe me, when, after 10 years and you become like 40 years old or 50 years old, and、uh, you're going to definitely say, I was right. I could do it when I was young and now I'm here. I was right. Definitely you're going to say.、It. But it's, you can't recognize right now because you're young. You can't recognize. But when you get old, you can definitely can say, Yeah, I was right. I did everything. That's. That's why I left Japan because I, I felt like I did almost everything in Japan. And I'm not, I don't want to, I, I, I just don't have anything, anything that I, I really miss, really. I ate amazing food. One of the most expensive restaurants I went, I went to one of the most expensive hotels also. I went, I did everything like a crazy job. Yes,、um, hard actually,、uh, core, four hours sleep every day. I went everywhere in Tokyo. Yes. I really grew up in the countryside, really farming every day, a farm, farm, rice farm, rice farm, like really chilling、uh, uh, countryside life. Also, I did it. Like, I did it almost everything. And then now I don't regret anything. And I just am here in Europe. Every day I'm enjoying in Europe. So I think if you have time, if you're young, do it everything. And so you, you have no regret. Mm hmm. So,、uh, well, climb, climbing a Mount Fuji, I did on my birthday five years ago. I cried when I reached the top. Okay, that's a good experience. Uh huh. Nice. Maybe I should do it. Uh, but uh, not this year, not next year. 
maybe when my daughter is maybe become a bit old and we can do it together with my daughter, then I say, I think it's going to be nice with, for me. So, bad joke. What is the fat, flattest prefecture? <laughs> ah, flattest prefecture is Yamanashi. Get it? Flattest is a flat. Flat. No? Is it my, my English is correct? If it's this is flat, prefecture is definitely Niigata or Yamagata prefecture, I think. Yamagata prefecture. I'm not sure Aomori, but I think it's, you know, like the land is like this. If I, if I say it really badly, it's just boring, like nothing, like no up and down. No, something like a beautiful thing. It's just a rice farm forever is Niigata Prefecture. Like, really? Nothing. <laughs> uh, maybe Niigata people are going to get mad with me. But it's I, because I was living in Niigata for 10 years, and I, I felt like the, the, the prefecture is like flat. <laughs> that that's I felt. So, uh, Terumi Sensei wa ki, ano, kikoku, maybe kikoku no imi kana? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually planning to go back to Japan um, this year or next year. I mean, these things I'm saying like every year. <laughs> I'm saying I'm going to go back to Japan this year or next year for this maybe four years, I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but actually, believe me, I'm kind of planning to go back to Japan this year or next year. Because I was saying this three, four years because it was Corona. Corona situation, I didn't know when I can go back. I mean, I have a Japanese passport. I can go back to Japan anytime. I have a Japanese passport. I'm nationality in Japan. It's just, you know, like some restriction. Um, you know, you need to, maybe you need to do it quarantine for maybe three days or not, if you're not vaccinated or if you're vaccinated, whatever, uh, you need to do the, uh, uh, you know, like uh, the quarantine things or not. The situation is always like upside down. And then, okay, I don't want to be in the quarantine or something, you know, uh, because it's just uh, losing my day. Uh, so that's why. I'm saying for every every year, I mean three years, I'm going to go back to this year or next year. So this right now also I'm going to say I'm going to go back to Japan this year or next year. Uh, but I think it's if the corona situation is totally fine, then maybe this winter. I hate summer in Japan. I love winter in Japan. So that's why I hope I can go back to Japan in winter. <laughs> Why I hate Japan, uh, summer in Japan? Because it's just too hot and it's just boring. Because I love ramen. I love ramen. And the ramen in summer is really just hot. <laughs> it's better. It's really winter. Oh, it's really cold. And then like knock the door and you enter the ramen shop and it's really warm. And the warm ramen is come. Ah, oh, it's really hot, warm. I just want to feel like that. That's actually the definitely winter. And then you go to the actual, later you actually go to the hot spring. It's called onsen. And oh, it's really cold, but it's again, it's warm in the hot spring. It's really amazing. But imagine it's summer. It's really hot. The ramen is really hot and hot, hot. And again, you go to the hot spring, again, hot, hot. It's really not enjoying summer in Japan for me. So that's why. I love Japan when it's winter. So I hope when I go back to Japan, it's winter. So, uh, well, uh, more jokes, Yamanashi. Ah, okay, that means Yamanashi. I understand. Uh, Yamanashi, what was it? Yamanashi. What? Yamanashi. Like we have this like a joke. Yes, exactly. That's true. That's true. Um, well, Greece is from blue country means regardless of the vac vaccination status of the entrance 
uh, on arrive test, home quarantine, and other measure are not required. Okay, thank you so much. That's that's good. That's good. Good to know. Thank you so much. So I hope this situation continues until winter, so I can go back to Japan in winter, and you know, no, you know, like enjoying the ramen and the hot spring. Nothing else. I really love. I just want to enjoy ramen, real ramen. I went to London. I went to Athens. I went to Germany. And、uh, I went to Poland. Ramen is nice, but not the real ramen. Not real. Not real ramen. So that's why I just want to eat real ramen. Nothing else, actually. <laughs> I just go back to Japan for ramen, the real ramen and the real hot spring. That's I really miss. I really miss.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so if Japan is open for my type of visa, I go in winter also. Yes, Sergey. Exactly. You should go winter. Exactly. So I'm telling you, you can really enjoy in Japan with the hot spring, with the snow. It's so amazing, you know. With the sake, it's everything. It's so this cold and the、uh, a warm. This contrast contrast is amazing. And then the ramen also. I told you, like really cold, super cold. But the ramen is super hot. So this actually contrast is the best. And then the summer destroyed me everything in in Japan. So I don't want to go back to Japan in summer. So、uh, go to Paris for ramen. Oh yes, I've never been to Paris actually. I've never been to Paris, and I heard it. Yeah,、uh, maybe the best ramen maybe in Paris, and I've never been to. So that you are right, you are right.、Uh, you should maybe I should go to Paris.、Uh, if if I cannot go back to Japan this winter again, because、uh, let's say situation something is again fucked up. If I cannot go back to Japan this year, then I go to Paris. Paris for not Tokyo Disneyland. I'm gonna go Paris Disneyland, and then I'm gonna eat Paris ramen. Then it's deal, <laughs> deal. All right. So thank you so much. I was so、uh, enjoying, but I hope you enjoy. And then.、Um, I couldn't share the screen so much, so that's why I couldn't do the so much lesson. But I hope you enjoy something and you could learn something.、Uh, you had some nice idea with me. Thank you so much. And then、uh, I'm gonna do it again uh, next uh, Saturday, five、uh, p.m. in Greece time and eleven p.m. in Japan time. So thank you so much, everyone, and then uh, enjoy uh, for your、uh, next one week. And then don't waste your time. Just、uh, practice Japanese, and then just make it a real plan to actually, if you really want to move to Japan, just to move to Japan as soon as possible. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mata ne. Mata ne.